these young men don't seem to like each other very much. This is the first time I've been on this side of this interview. I'm excited, Flo. Oh, man, me Woo. too. Well, joining us via satellite from Las Vegas, the set of UFC 216, are the headliners Tony Ferguson and Kevin Lee. First off, Kevin, I mean, what is that? Is that alligator? Is that crocodile? What is that? What is that jacket? That's beautiful. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it, it's some snake skin. You know, I got to put okay. on for the culture. Uh, like I said, they, they made me take off the headband. Uh, that that would have been a really tied together. But uh, look, I, I, I look good. I feel good. I'm going to fight good. I feel like a champ. Tony, Kevin said that when you went back to your guys' alma mater, Grand Valley State, you acted like the big man on campus. Are you big time in your fellow alumni, Tony? Absolutely not. I am to inspire. I am to motivate. <laughs> When I go there, I'm buying, I'm out, I'm buying like the clothes, the sweats and the sweaters and the hoodies. I'm trying to invest back into the community. I'm actually coached by one of the best that's out there, one of the most winningest coaches, Dave Mills. Uh, and through that, man, I never really got coached by anybody else. I was always a captain of the team, always trying to uplift everybody. Never had a big fat head. I have big ears, but not a big fat head like this kid. So this question is for both. Yeah, of you. nah. When he would come back, he, go ahead, Kevin. He was ahead, a weirdo. Kevin. He was a weirdo. He, he he was a weirdo then. He's he's even weirder now, uh, and and we ain't really had no. You gotta no market yourself the way that. that you have to. Honestly, I get it. Like I told you, you have to market yourself. You're gonna have to fight, and you have to bleed a little. You gotta fight. You're gonna bleed, and you definitely market your ass to get to this spot. I've fought more times in the last year than you. You you ain't fought in a year. I didn't fought four times this year. So I, I don't retired even know what people you're and I made about. them move classes. I ran out of asses to kick. You saw it already. I fucking beat Khabib without even beating him. It's called mental warfare. I already point and proved you got attitude problems. You're just like that dude that was could never really cut it on the team. That's why you move forward, man. So you guys have been right. ha you guys have been hanging out with each other a lot. Uh, you know, I, I know obviously you guys have some bad blood. Is there respect? Between you guys, though, do you respect each other? Go ahead, Tony. I'm not sure. Do I respect you? Absolutely. You're an athlete. Like I said, I was a captain of the team that we were both represented. We never stepped foot on the same mat. We never even talked to each other. I never knew who you are. I never even represented anything that would be close to you. The fact is, is there's so much other things going on in this world that I don't have. I'm not bringing any animosity into this. You're already at a loss, my friend. You're trying to mean mug me. You're trying to stare me down. You're trying to do something that you're not. You're like that wrestler in line that's trying to mean mug the other guy, and I'm just shaking you off. I'm that dude showing up in Converse and big baggy clothes. That's going to school you, kid. You okay. might have all the shiny shit that you can, but it's not going to. Man, we all know that's fake. Yeah, right. All right. Well, I mean, look, there, there's always been respect for Tony. I said it since the beginning. I feel like Tony's uh, been the number one contender for a while. He's definitely the toughest fight. I like those big challenges. As a man, he, he the man's a weirdo. Like he he has been since the beginning. Uh, we ain't we ain't had no interaction before because it was on my terms. Like I ain't really, you know, the dude is just he just a weird dude. You're full so, of shit, dude. Uh, You're I mean, full his, of shit. his his style is great. Uh, you know, he, he he can fight, but that's about it. So, you know, we, we ain't really gonna have no... I wish him nothing but the best after this. He gonna be disappointed on Saturday night because he wanted just as bad. But, uh, you know, in, in light of other things, I, I I hope he go back to his family. He, he kiss his girl and, and he have a good life. You know, the biggest part that Motown Phenom brings to this table is conditioning. Now, I told him, if he's gonna piss me off, I'm gonna test that conditioning. I'm gonna make him go all five rounds We can me. do that. We can do that. I hope that you can stay in there. But I hope that you can go 25. I, ho I hope that you can take the power. I hope that you can take the speed. If you think I'm only bringing conditioning, you crazy as hell. Like, you the one that's, that's got all the technical problems uh, that I don't think, you know, we, we, we gonna see. We gonna see. We, we'll, we'll see on I'm Saturday. I'm battle-tested. You've seen all my wars. You haven't bled as much as I have in battle, dude. Yeah, this and there's a reason part. why I don't this... bleed in my fights. It's yeah, because I... you got your ass kicked and you're fighting nobodies. I'm fighting guys like Edson Barbosa. I'm fighting guys like Rafael Dos Anjos. You know, you're saying you've, I fought an unjuiced Rafael Dos Anjos. Are you off the juice, Kevin? You know, there's a YouTube video out there with you and saying growth hormones and you got bumps all over your stomach. <laughs> you know what I did? Is I imagined you were 100 times the size that you were when I was training for you. I made sure that I was going and I basically just got out of the hyperbolic time chamber when I was there in Big Bear. You have no idea the kind of person Don't. I am and what I'm what you're dealing with, dude. You can talk as much as you want, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna TF you, and that's technical fault. That's a Tony Ferguson fucking finish. You're done, son. Hey, uh, all right. I ain't even gonna dignify that with a response, to be honest with you. But Tony, all right, go ahead. <laughs> Tony, when you were working the Fox desk at, at Kevin's last fight, you said he wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. But now you're fighting him gladly. Is it because he's a worthy opponent, or is, ju is it just because of the interim title? No, he's a great opponent. 
He's the only one that had enough balls to sign on the dotted line. These other guys are jokes. You have one that wants to either, you know, go play boxing or do something or grab ass in the park with some other guy, or you have one that can't make weight and eats too much tiramisu on Tuesdays. You have two other guys that are too busy doing the filming. And you know what? I know Kevin. I guarantee you I know him because when I saw him over here at the T-Mobile and I, I told him, I was like, you're a punk, dude. He used the early morning excuse to try not to like throw. And one thing was is I guarantee he wouldn't listen, throw at me. And he wouldn't ever throw at me. I, I guarantee you because you, listen, you wouldn't have did shit. It was too early for you. You had your coffee in your hand. And even if you tried to do shit, you were too slow. You say you're too fast. You never mess with a guy like me, dude. You have better luck look, running look, through hell you with your underwear soaked in gasoline listen, than to fuck with a guy listen, like me. You came to me with nothing but PR guys and security around us. When I come at you, it ain't going to be no, no security. There was no security. There was absolutely no security. There was no security. security. No security. Was Nobody was there. Bro, you bro, had listen. Stipe Miosic and you had Tito Ortiz. You're looking for them to stop the fucking thing. You're like, oh, somebody grabbed I ain't oh, looking for nobody, her. nothing. Because when, when it go down, you can do it, that it shit be nobody You can do that shit to anybody else. But when you got a real man standing in front of you, boy, so, you're so, not gonna so do what shit, happened kid. when I all right, so you're when I DM'd you afterwards, I told you to come to my fucking house. I, I live in Vegas. Yeah, so dude, you I'm here right now. That. I'm here right now. Well then you Your know where it's at. Like wearing, all right, well like, now we're gonna get paid to do it. Type Look, of shit. It's gonna you be have even no better. Superhero powers, it's bro. it's, it's gonna be even better now. You're breakable. Okay. I'm unbreakable. You're breakable, you fucking fake. All right, it's gonna be even better now, cause now, now I get some money for it. Okay. I told you, cool. good for you, you because you're the only cool. one that signed on the dotted line. Now, yeah. you know what? Yeah. I'm and not gonna bring any lawsuit to it. Boys, but what I have to say is, you, 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 you try to mean mug. You boys, try to mean mug. Boys, you can't guys, do shit. Listen, guys, I know you guys are both students of the nothing. games. Kevin, no, no, you no, look you guys are in our conversation. Hey, Cormier, everybody, you guys need to shut up because this is between me and Kevin. These guys right here. Uh-uh. Hey, Come don't on, make us get hey, Tony, 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 you've actually been here, Tony. You know there's a job to be done, young man. Hey, Kevin, when you look at Tony's game, do you see any weaknesses? If so, what, what is hey, that? Hey, I'll ankle pick you. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what'd you say? I didn't hear when, you. When he, you look, he, keep, he keep on running his mouth. Ke Kevin, I know you guys are both students of the games, but when you analyze Tony's game, do you see any weaknesses? Yeah, I see a lot of holes in his game. Uh, the, he ain't, the man ain't fought in over a year. You know, he's 33. Uh, and, and it's going to take him a lot for, the, for them, him to fill up them holes. And regardless if I win or lose, I handle it like a real champ. I go back, I look at what I did right, I look at what I did wrong, and then I correct those. Uh, and I don't feel like me. that he do that. So no, he's quoting me. Win I mean, lose, regardless from the table. Look, at, you can copy everybody's style from Conor McGregor from the looks. To, I guarantee you listened at the summit. Because I didn't go. I'm not trying to be listen, something that listen, I'm not. Listen, listen, listen. You can man, dress the part that Conor was wearing the year like, before. And you can say everything that he was saying the time before. You can try to market yourself. You did great with that one. But now this is the time, man. I'm not wearing a suit. I'm not hey, wearing monkey suits. I'm not you, doing anything. I'm saving all of my good material for the people that fucking matter. Because for you, you're a chump. You, it's hard okay, to make a chump into a champ. Listen, you're a listen. Chump. You're doing a lot of talking. You saying I'm the one that's doing the talking, but again, you you've been doing all the talking this whole time, so I, I'm I'm ready to fight. Like I'm ready to show There's up. No hey, look, in, in, in June, who There's you was the responding. one sitting, you Only was the responding. one sitting up there with a suit and, and an earpiece in, and I and I had another man's blood covered in me. So I've been doing the hard work. They had to so, keep me busy because I ran out of asses to kick. If I if I didn't nah, have to go and take okay, that job, you know what? Say, they wanted to set it up. They wanted to set boys, it up because boys, they had it planned out for you to boy, get your ass kicked boy, by me. Hey guys, that makes sense. Guys, listen, you guys mentioned Conor McGregor, right? There's rumors that Conor may fight Nate Diaz. There's no guarantee that the winner gets to fight Conor McGregor. What do you guys do? Do you defend the interim title while Conor's fighting against Nate with the, with the, the, the championship on the line? What, where, where does it go if it doesn't lead to that big fight? Yeah, like I said, after this one, uh, after I beat Tony, who, who has been the number one contender for a long time, he's the toughest fight in his division. After I beat Tony, then, then Connor's got to prove that he's ready to fight me. Uh, Tony's got 12 wins. I've got 10 wins. We've already been through the who's who of 155. And this, this is for the real championship. So uh, if, if Connor want to fight Nate, if you want to fight Justin, whatever, to fight for a number one contender spot, then I, okay, cool. He can do that. Uh, and maybe I might grant him a title shot after that. It, that's up to him. If he can sleep at night with that little uh, hunk of metal and, and he's only beat one guy in the division and feel like he a champ, then cool. I hope he sleep on a bed of hundreds because, I, I look, I'm, I, I'm doing the same thing. My pillow filled up with the same amount of money. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm straight. Tony, you're not going to answer that question? Go ahead, Tony. You can, go ahead, Tony. You can respond. Hey, Tony don't see himself winning, so, I mean, it ain't even, you know, but go ahead. You can, I mean, you can respond, you know. You going to do Respond all to what? Going. Somebody that hasn't mentioned my name not one time in this division? You're brand new, kid. You don't earn, you haven't earned the right to be in this division, but I'm granting you an access pass to get to the interim title. 
Who are you I'm talking the one about? giving you an opportunity. Who are you talking about? You're I'm talking giving about you an me? opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? Really even if Connor, even if Connor doesn't defend or vacate, I don't really give two fucks. I don't give two shits because whoever's gonna hold that belt or whoever's next in line is who I'm gonna run right through. I've been beating people from the top ten all the way through. I've been sending people in different weight classes. Nobody wants to fight. You're the only one that wants to fight because you think it's the easy route. Buddy, you're gonna go back to top 70 when I'm done with you. <laughs> After I'm done with you, you're gonna, I, you know what, I might even make you verbally tap. I've never done that to somebody. I might just put, stall you out, put you on foot and all fours, put your hand behind your back like a police lock and beat you <laughs> like the thug that you are. <laughs> Okay, oh, okay, guys, guys, that was very entertaining. I thank you. Don't hurt each other until Saturday. I got the best seat in the house, and I cannot wait to watch you two boys try to take each other's heads off. See you guys this weekend. Good luck, fellas. I'm going to break you, kid. <laughs>